And in 1992, One Life to Live set its focus on gay teen Billy Douglas, highlighting the LGBTQ youth experience, which had rarely been seen on television. When I was a producer at CBS This Morning, Ryan Philippe was playing a gay character on One Life to Live. And I was like, this is super groundbreaking. This is a really important storyline. We have to cover it. And I remember interviewing Ryan Philippe, who was so young. My mom's favorite TV show was One Life to Live. So my first real acting job was on my mother's favorite soap opera. You know, I was a senior in high school in Delaware at the time, somewhat naive, didn't know anyone who was openly gay, but I knew the character was a gay teenager. At that time, this was well before Ellen and Will and Grace and all these other things, so it felt like a, a pretty big decision at that point in my life. It's a topic that's under the spotlight in your own living room every day at 2 in the afternoon. Here's what's happening right now in the fictional town of Landview on the ABC daytime drama One Life to Live. The pivotal player is this 17-year-old Ryan Felipe, who just graduated from the Newcastle Baptist Academy in his hometown of Newcastle, Delaware. I was really young at that time, but I remember people talking about it and being on the news. If I'm 17, just um, getting out of high school, I still care a lot about what friends, family, church thinks. And I'll tell you, it took a lot of prayer. Nights I stayed up late, you know, thinking about it, I'd talk to my parents. I was, at the time, enrolled in Christian school. And the reaction, once I did take the job, was pretty uh, serious in terms of they weren't happy with the fact that I had taken this job. Damn it, Joe, you think it was easy? You think I go around telling everybody and know, hey, what'd you like on your pizza? Oh, by the way, I'm gay. The important thing about Ryan Philippi on One Life to Live was, yes, he was playing a gay teenager. And yes, it was important for teenagers to see that. But let's remember who the audience for soap operas is stay-at-home moms who, for the first time for many of them, were seeing a gay teen on their televisions. When we started getting the fan mail is when I realized I was doing something that mattered and any fears or reservations went away. Dear Ryan, as you act on One Life to Live as a gay teenager, I also act. I act as a straight, normal 21-year-old. It has become routine to act like the perfect son or brother. You are the first person I've ever told, and maybe the last, that I am gay. I don't think I will ever be able to tell anyone the truth. Had not your portrayal and the storyline of a gay teen hit me so deeply, I probably would not be telling you. I feel that way because of things I hear my family say about homosexuals. I know this is just your job, and I'm sorry for throwing all of my problems at you like this, but it feels good just to tell someone. Thank you for your time. Those letters, man, that's when I realized I'm actually doing something here that matters, that even though it's on a soap opera, even though I'm 17, even though I had reservations initially about it, that this is having an impact. As soap opera characters captured the attention of daytime audiences, another daytime format, the talk show, beamed real-life people into the television sets of viewers. I remember watching Donahue and one of their 